Hello and welcome to another build by me, Dayton, from the House Gamers. Today, I, uh, I've been sent a picture by Nick, and uh, he says to me, Hey Dayton, can you build this house? And uh, I respond to him, Yes, I can build this house. And, uh, and then I came on here and now I'm going to build this house. It's pretty simple how all that works. So I got myself a nice L-shaped plot to build a beautiful L-shaped house. I am in fact building this house. In fact, building this house. Boom, that house. Um, so yeah, I got two plots left in this little place, so I figure the big plot here I can use to make this beautiful big house. Now I've done a little bit of math and I figured out the uh, most basic sort of measurements for this house, so I'm going to do my very best to recreate exactly what it looks like. Now the exterior is going to look a little bit different because I'm going to make, uh, make it look nice in this plot via trees and water features and pathways, stuff like that. But for the most part, the exterior of this building is going to look identical ish so in honor of the sheep here who fought valiantly trying to keep this uh, plot to himself I'm going to build this house mainly uh, white so we're gonna use white stained clay we're gonna use gray stained clay we're gonna use light blue stained glass pane quartz stairs quartz slabs and wooden doors those are gonna be our primary building materials for the exterior of this building we're gonna use random other building materials for the exterior and the interior but we won't talk about those because they insulted me and I'm mad at them so we're only going to talk about these materials. So we're going to start off with the front face of this build. It's going to start out by building up three just like that, and you're going to put three gray stained clay right beside it as well. You're going to build out one just like I did there. Build across to make sort of an upside down L shape just like that. So that's going to be the first corner, and then we're going to move up to the second floor here. That is also three high, and then one over top just like that with a gray stained clay on the corner there too. So that's going to be the far edge of our build. Um, and I'm going to use that to sort of scale the rest of the stuff that we're about to build. So I'm going to take my gray stained clay here, and I'm going to build it out just like that so we can fit a doorway in, and that's going to be one of our primary entrances into the build. Uh, I think that's going to be good because I'm going to add a nice water feature out here and we're going to be able to see it quite nicely. So after that, we are going to fill in the ground with white stained clay, four long, and then fill in a uh, four long window here out of our light blue stained glass just like this. Now we're going to carry the roof on straight to the end of that window. After that we're going to place down some gray stained clay once again and we're going to place down another four long windows. So again fill in the bottom with four pieces of white stained clay up with three gray stained clay connect it over just like that and then we're going to fill this in with light blue stained glass. Perfect, that's looking good. On to the second floor here. It's going to go up one just like that, then a one thick piece of glass, and then we're going to build it uh, with a grey stained clay, and then a two thick piece of glass, and then a three thick piece of glass after another grey stained clay. And close all that up with grey stained clay at the end and pull over the white stained clay up on the roof just like that and we're gonna go over the edge here not have to worry about any white or anything that's uh... that's the end corner of this build now just to keep my sanity it's not gonna follow exactly how the picture is i'm gonna build that over the edge so that i have a little bit of outline when i start to cut out windows farther along there so we're just gonna leave it like that and i think that looks pretty pretty snazzy or whatever that saying is um, we're now going to build up this wall here. So it's going to be three tall with that one on the corner, and we're going to build it out two just like that, add on one more, and then we're going to start to work on that cool looking little uh, slit in the wall. So we're going to build it over, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's say for now. And then we'll fill it in, put down our quartz slab over top, and then above that put in white stained clay again over one extra just there and that's that little slit that we're, uh, we're trying to achieve there so I'm going to use world edit really quickly and I'm just going to fill in this square here with white stained clay just to make it a little easier for me to build nope perfect so working on the second floor here, we're going to have a three wide window, so we'll use our light blue for three, gray stained clay, another three wide window, piece of gray stained clay, 
And then we're going to have a four wide window with a piece of gray stained clay, like that. And I'm going to build all three of those up and then connect the roof on the top. And then I'll fill this in as well with uh, white stained clay. And then we can work on the part of the house that goes this way. Oh, we've got that done. It's looking pretty good. So just to uh, to build the building off here, I'm going to extend this just so I have something to work off of. It's not a measurement you have to worry about. It's just to help me build the walls and stuff. And then I'm going to fill this in with light uh, or white stained clay as well. Perfect, and now we can work on these windows. So these windows up top here are going to be four wide, so one, two, three, four, followed by a piece of gray stained clay, one, two, three, four, followed by a piece of gray stained clay, one, two, three, four, gray stained clay, and that's the base of this wall. So again, going to build that up with the, uh, the white stained clay across the top, just like that for the second floor, and now we're going to work on the bottom floor a little bit. So we're going to find this edge right here, count out two, and then place down a V with our gray stained clay, build it up to the roof. We are then going to take our white stained clay, build it over two with a piece of gray stained clay going up, white stained clay with a piece of gray stained clay going up, and right here is going to be our door. So this is where the picture sort of gets cut off. I'm going to assume that it goes like that. It has the doorway down below and no rain. Doorway down below like that, and then it's built up with white stained clay like that. So I'm going to fill in this ground here with our white stained clay. And that gives us a good base to build off the next uh, part of the top floor. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take this uh, face of the wall right here and mark out where that is. You're going to count out four. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, and then you're going to erase the rest of this because that is how far out your building is going to be. So I'm going to erase this really quick. Just like that. And then you're going to grab yourself some stairs and you're going to work this all the way down to the ground. So it's going to go three wide followed by uh, stairs basically all the way down three wide by stairs all the way down. I need to work on how to English. Looking good like that. We're making progress. Um, this bit of the roof here is actually going to carry out straight to the edge of the wall that we have down below and then all the way back to the back corner. Just like that, in line there. Now this line here is how many blocks? From this wall to this corner of the wall is nine blocks, and then again we have three up, three up there, and you build it across. We're starting to make progress here. Now we just have to worry about this wall here. So this wall is going to be three pieces of glass, followed by gray stained clay, followed by three pieces of glass and a gray stained clay. So build these up three, and the roof can just be filled in right over top. Now usually I'd be doing this by hand, but to keep the interest of the viewers, uh, just while I record it, I'm not going to. So we'll fill that in like that. Oh, you know what? I just had a thought. We're going to take that away. We're actually going to build this wall out one more. Just like that. Then we'll fill it in. So for you that are following along, this piece of the wall here is 14 long. This piece of the roof here is now 11 long. And uh, that should be perfect because this is where the doorway is going to be, right here. And I might need to get something a little bit different just to emphasize that door. So let's use light gray stain clay. Just like that. 
Okay, and we'll fill in this window here. There we go, we're making progress. Um, I forgot to fill in light blue stained glass right here. Looking good. Now, uh, this back wall here, what we're going to do is we're going to fill in one on this edge, and then we're going to go over three, four, and then go up again, go over four, build up again, and then go over three, and then build up again. That's going to give us some space for our uh, nice big windows in the back. Just like that. And all these are going to be light blue stained glass. And the same way here, we're going to have a three wide one, followed by a vertical, and then a four wide one, followed by a vertical. Then here we're going to have one nice big window. It's going to be, I believe, five and five. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, four and five. Wait, no, that's going to be four and four. My apologies, four and four. <laughs> And then we're going to build this straight to the corner, out one from the edge, as I said, just so that my OCD doesn't kill me. And then we will fill this in with uh, white stained clay. Perfect. The bottom floor is looking good in the back, and the bottom floor is looking good in the front. Second floor is looking good in the front, so we're just going to concentrate on that in the back. It's going to be very similar to down below there. We're going to take this white stained clay, and we're going to build it in one right there, and out. Um, actually, you know what? I'm having second thoughts again about this wall here. I think I'm going to change it. So in the picture it's solid, but I think what I'm going to do is leave it full like that and use quartz slabs across. I think that looks a little bit nicer, it's not just a solid wall. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now let's concentrate on this again. Uh, we're just going to follow the bottom floor, so right here we want it to meet up with a double wall right here. So let's figure out how this is going to be placed. I guess it's going to be a double wide window. Or a double wide wall. With two three wide windows right here. Covered along the top. And then you fill it in with light blue stained glass. And this part is done. That's looking good. Now the part over top of here, we're going to do the exact same as the bottom. So we're going to have a four wide window, a four wide window, and then a three wide window. Perfect. Back is looking good as well. Now the side here, exact same as the bottom completely. So up three, four, sorry, three wide window, up here, up four, that's a four wide window, a double sized one right here, that is also a four wide window, and then we fill in this wall a little bit, and that's a four wide window. So we fill in the bottoms. I feel like a printer when I'm doing this sometimes, moving across. <laughs> okay. 
Perfect, just like that, and we can move on to the final floor. So working on the final floor, we're going to start out by filling in the roof. This is just going to make it a little easier for us to place all of the walls. So select that area. Set 159, and the same thing here. Now we can work on the last bit of the roof. So we're going to follow these little blocks here to find out where we're going to go. So we're going to start on the second one in, which is this one right here. We're going to build up three with our gray stained clay. Here we're going to build up three with our gray stained clay. And then this one right here, which I think is, yeah, it's fixed right there, is going to be three wide. Perfect. And then we're going to have a spacing of two and then a spacing of three. And we build up this edge here, like we do there. So it's going to make a nice little T-shape. And then we're going to build this all the way across, two out from the last piece of gray stained clay that we put on the end. So that's the last piece right there. We're going to build it two out, so it's a double spacing. And then we are going to take our white stained clay once again, fill in this back right to that corner there, add in a nice big window. So we'll go in one from that edge, and this edge here will have that. So, oh, my apologies. It will be right here because the roof will be right there. So one in from the center, right there, one in from that center, right there, three wide, two wide, ah, oh, what have I done wrong? There we go, sorry. Big window like that, fill it in along the top, and fill that in with light blue stained uh, glass. Perfect. And then this wall, we're just going to mirror exactly what's on the other side. Perfect. I'll fill in all these windows, and we can take a look at uh, adding in some stairs. I've actually taken a second look at this wall, and I really don't like how it turned out, so I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to recreate what's down below once again on this level here. So we're going to make a spacing of 3, a spacing of 4, spacing of 4 with a double thick window, and then the same thing right here to close up this wall and fill that in with light blue stained glass and then fill in this complete entryway here with glass and then white stained clay along the bottom and I think that ties in a lot better with the rest of the building at the back as well as gives a nicer shadowing to the front of the building Anyways, the outside of this building is looking pretty good, so I'm going to start to show you guys where those stairs are now. So from analysis of the uh, one picture that I have, I've sort of planned out an idea of where the stairs can rest. So um, we've got this wall here, which is the entrance, which I'm going to take care of first. It's going to wrap around like that. This is just going to be one of the entrances into the building. There's obviously going to be more than that. But uh, the idea is, from your pool here, you can swim straight inside to your indoor pool, which I'm going to add in in a sec. Um, but the stairs are going to be right here. So you're going to take our quartz slabs, and we're going to mark out, going up half a slab at a time to right there. And this square right here is going to be our top square. Now we're going to cut this all out. Like that. It's going to be three wide, actually. And then we're going to take our stone slabs, and we're going to add that onto the edge of the stairs here, just to give it a little different look. And same in right there. Actually, I'm going to move this whole stairway back one. Uh, 
There we go, much better. We are then going to take our gray stained clay like this, build it down right there, and up right there, and then fill in this at the bottom with gray stained clay and at the top, and then white stained clay in the center. Gray stained clay around the top of this and down the edge, and then we're going to stick in a door right here. So at the bottom we'll put white stained clay. That'll be the way to get under the stairs, and as soon as you walk in through this area here, you're going to have a choice to go up the stairs or go into the main room right there. So that's starting to, starting to look pretty good. Brings you up to the second level where we're going to take some black stained glass, put it around the edge just as a railing so people don't die, because dying is sucky, and then we're going to work on the stairs to the second level, or the third level, pardon me, which are going to be right here. So I'm going to take out this bit, and then we're going to start on the stairs once again. So we're starting one in from that support there. We're going to put one in with the quartz, and then two in with the stone slab. just like that and then we'll take our black stained glass once again around the top so that we don't kill ourselves and those are the stairways for the two inside levels Perfect, that looks really, really nice. I like that. Wonderful. Now we can start on the layout of some of the exterior of this house. Okay, so we're going to work on the exterior of this house now. Now what I've done is I've lifted the house up by two, um, just to give it a little pad so I can have some definition to this property that I'm about to make right here. So we are going to work on the entrance first thing in the garage. Um, easy to do. We're going to grab our stone, carry it uh, I'd say a good 15-20 blocks this way, and fill this in with stone. Just like that. And then we're going to build a little garage for it, so I'm going to grab myself some... Um, where is this? Dark oak wood slabs, and some white stained clay again. And with this, I'm just going to build a simple little garage, so we'll build it up like that. Carry it over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring it up and then over to the other side of this right there. Bring it up. Fill in the bottom of both of these walls. And grab our stone slab across the top. And then we're going to take our dark oak wood slabs. Carry it out like that. Two from the side. And then we're in line there, so two from that side. Do this all the way along. Got a good starting base there, so we're going to pick out the centers. Uh, gonna have to go like that. Actually, maybe I'll do it the other way around. Then we're going to grab some black stained glass across the bottom, just like that. Um, I might even add in another little wall right here. Stone slab across there. Might have to double it up. Yeah, okay. Instead of stone slab, then we will take light gray stained clay and put it across the top. Good enough, and then we'll take the white or the black stained glass across the top of that. Decent enough for garage, fill that back in with stone. 
And then we can add in a bush along the two sides. So we'll grab some leaves. I always like to start off two away from walls with leaves. It just gives better luck to it. Um, and then uh, maybe at the threshold here between the uh, driveway and the garage, I'll put in some stone slabs. And same thing right here. Perfect. Uh, now we can work on these walls here. So this house's main entrance is going to be that one right there. So I'm going to want a nice pathway straight up to it. Maybe have an outdoor sitting area there. Um, but I'm going to keep it as close to the original draw or the original picture, sorry, as I can. So I won't add too much. So let's carry these stairs up. So that means that this stuff is going to have to come out. Just like that. It's a nice little stairway up. Might even connect that in. Just like that. And then for this wall here, just to make it fit in a little bit better, we're going to take our world edit. And we are going to replace all this grass and dirt with gray stained or light gray stained clay. Um, I believe that's 159.8, correct. Okay, and that uh, that fits in quite nicely. Um, then across the top of that we're going to take our white stained glass, throw it in just like that. Might have to do this. There we go. White stained glass all alongside, and then same thing with this wall here. And this wall here. Now, I'm not giving you guys the dimensions of these walls just because it's completely up to you how big you made, make this pad. Um, most of this tutorial is just how to build the house, so the exterior is just for pure inspiration to you guys uh, for what you guys might want to build. Perfect, making progress, and I'll just speed myself up while I do all this glass along the edge. Perfect, so now we have a little bit of glass along that edge and the area looks pretty good. Um, now I'm going to work on the second layer of this area. So I'm going to grab our light gray stained clay, going to carry it out from this wall a tiny bit, bring it out to let's say right here. Now I'm going to want to add in a cool looking pool. So I'm actually going to carry this around and make an L shape. It's going to look like this and pull it over just like that. and back into the wall right here. Now just for my OCD I want to make sure this is an odd number, it's an even number right now, so we're going to carry that out like that. Break this wall again. Place that back there. Now I'm going to fill in this hole with grass and I'm going to put white stained glass along the edge and you guys can see how that looks. Okay, so now that we have that pad done, looks quite nice. I'm going to work on making this little path come down to where the pool is going to be. Now the pool is going to start up here, and it's going to carry down into a bigger open pool down here. But it's also going to start up here and carry down through here as like a little uh, little waterway. I think it'll look pretty nice. So I'm going to start off by taking this stone slab, putting one on each side there, and just doing a little outline of where this water feature is going to be. So I think it'll look nice if I add in some curves and some circles, just like this. And then uh, I'm going to dig down one, and I'm going to put a dark gray stained clay underneath each one of these stone slabs. So I'll just fast forward till that's done. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in this bottom area here with uh, just water. So I'm going to select this block right there. I'm going to select this block right here. Replace uh, zero with water, and then I'm going to use a cool little trick that I figured out. Um, I'm just going to fill this in temporarily, and I'm going to select this area right here, and I'm going to select this area right here, and fill these in temporarily as well. And I'm going to, sorry, did I select the right? 
there we go, now I did. Um, now I'm going to fill in that area that just has uh, air with a slice of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do replace uh, 0 with water with a data value of 5. And that looks pretty good. It fills in that little slice just with a little bit of water. So you still have the uh, difference in height from the stone slab to the water, but uh, it's not like regular water because if I... Whoops. If I had done that same command without the data value, the water would have looked like that. If I do that command with the data value, the water looks like that. So I'm going to fill in this area the same way, like that, and I'm going to break all this extra stone that I put in. And we can move on to the next layer. Okay, so now that I have that little pool there uh, fixed and ready to go, I'm going to start leading this water down to here. But uh, first things first, I'm going to do the layout of the pool. So again, this is just uh, my preference on the size of the plot that I have. You guys can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you feel. So I'm just going to do a jump cut to uh, when it's done. Okay, so just in case some of you guys are magically following along exactly what I'm doing, um, this is what the the uh, the floor plan of this build looks like. So you can see I added in some nice pathways there up to the main floor, and uh, some some uh, some some uh, yeah some of some of those those things those light producing things. Um, I'm just going to finish those off actually with a little bit of uh, carpet on the top. But as you can see, it's uh, it's nice. It's got some little white glass, uh, glowstone, and some some uh, stick underneath there, or fence, sorry. And uh, that's that's the general look of the backyard of this house. I think it looks quite nice and fits this house pretty well. Um, anyways, I was just showing you this before I added in trees and foliage and stuff like that, uh, so you could see it a little bit easier. Um, I will freeze frame here for a sec while uh, you guys sort of look at it. Just in case you want to plan it out, you can pause the video here. And there you go. Now I'm going to add trees, foliage, and I'll do a walk about the outside and let you guys see what it looks like. Okay, so the outside is pretty much done. I left the interior up to you guys because people have said that my interiors are not up to par. So I'll leave that to you guys. Um, so yeah, outside of this from the street looks pretty nice. It looks, uh, it's one of those silent killers. It doesn't look crazy detailed from the street, but once you get inside to the plot, it looks really, really nice. So going in through the entrance here, you got your car, in fact, the only race car that I can build, um, with some nice uh, bushes. You know, got a good entrance up to the entrance of the house, and uh, we'll we'll walk up that to go see what it looks like. So with the shaders, it looks really nice. This little walkway up to the main door. Again, the inside is looking a little bare, just so you guys can decide what you want to do to it. But uh, yeah, this entrance is looking pretty nice. Okay, so leaving the back door of your house, you're greeted by a massive pool, and when I say massive, I mean massive pool. This backyard is probably my favorite backyard I've made. You got a nice blanket to sit, enjoy the sun, sip on your, your margaritas and your different non-alcoholic beverages, and uh, you know, hop in the pool and go through the little water slide into the lower pool. And once you're done swimming, you know, you can hop out, go dry off laying, laying your, uh, your blanket under the trees, or sit in the park bench, and you know, just enjoy the sun and the view. These, uh, these, these these little 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 lights they really really do a lot to make this place look good so yeah there you go you guys got a tutorial on how to build this house because I know you guys have wanted to see how it's done because there are a lot of tutorials out there that don't show exactly how to do it but uh, I tried to make it almost exactly as uh, as the picture shows so I hope you guys like this tutorial and please remember to like and subscribe to Typhoon Cinema and me Dayton from the House Gamers uh, we'll talk to you guys the next time I do a build